What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another XDL battle. This week we're facing off against my buddy Nino Pokey Bros. Like that channel, that whole group, they run great tournaments. I'm be sure to link their Twitter and their Twitch and their YouTube down in the description down below. Uh, so yeah, like honestly, really great group of people, really great dude. Man remodeled a whole kitchen by himself. Anyways, we're gonna be doing our XDL battle. But before we get into this, I want you guys to do me a favor. If you enjoyed this video at any point in time, leave a like on it, subscribe to the channel and turn notifications, and answer my comment question of the day. Why are you here? <laughs> I'm kidding. Uh, but how much do you enjoy XDL battles, I guess is my actual comment question of the day. Because whenever an XDL battle goes up on my channel, I admit it does not perform as well as my other uploads, which is to be expected. However, that is the reason I actually double up on uploads today. So hopefully you guys will be getting another video and I don't have my team ready. Be right back. Okay, we're searching again. <laughs> now that I actually have my team ready in the battle box, we can actually do this. Uh, but yeah, uh, this team that I prepped, I decided to do it on my own this week. And the reason I decided to do it that way is because... I tend to overthink things when building, and I tend to have some bad ideas when building. You should know this, you're subscribed to the channel. So what I did is I made the most basic prep possible. I didn't even calc to do anything beyond like, hey man, Adamant Scarf Sneasel still outspeeds Cinderace, so I might as well run Adamant. Like that was the extent of the calcing. Um, I mean, I, obviously I speed crept the Colossal for Sandrush Stoutland, but beyond that, like, it was it was very basic. So yeah, uh, this is going to be a very straightforward week on our side of the prep. However, I did do one very fun little counter pick. I'm actually running Sandrush Choice Band Dracozolt because I do anticipate them to bring the Tyranitar on their team since Tyranitar Stoutland is actually able to do quite a few things to Colossal. So yeah, uh, I'll go ahead and... Oh, wait, we're already ready. I was like, huh, taking a minute. But now we can get into it. Now we can get into the gaming. The meat of the video, the gaming section. I will decide myself. Of course, I want to play Series 9 rules. Even though I really don't want to play Series 9, I'm so fed up with it. I'm so ready for Series 10 ranked, man. Like, I love Series 10 so much. I actually just won a room tour with Colo not Colossal, a room tour with, um, with uh, Necrozma Dusk Main prior to recording this. So that's fun. But yeah, uh, let's go ahead and do this. I already sent him a GLHF, so let's see what we can do here. Let's see how well I prepped. And no Stoutland, but I did call the Tyranitar, which, fine by me, fine by me. Um, That was actually sort of the point of Weezing, so I don't know what else Weezing can do besides be a pretty hard check to Urshifu. Uh, I think what I want to do here, is, honestly... No, I can just I can just do this. This this will be fine. Uh, obviously, I have to be careful with the Clefable being able to redirect hits, but I think that there's no way they don't bring the. Hmm. I think I do have to bring Verizion. I think there's no way they don't bring the Tyranitar to this matchup. I could bring Dusclops, and that'd be nice for Trick Room stuff. But I think I'm fine just going with Drake Result here. Weezing could be cool for Will O Wisp actually, but. I do have Taunt. Taunt could be really nice on lead. Taunt could be really nice on lead now that I think about it. Because I could taunt that Clefable and just be like done with it for the rest of the game. Let's do this. I think they might go with like Clefable plus... You know, I have to do this. I, I can't lead off too prediction reliant yet. Yeah, we'll do this. Um, I'll bring Weezing. Yeah. I, I was going to lead off... Uh, I was going to lead off Taunt Weezing plus Verizion in case they went Clefable plus Tyranitar, but I feel like if they think they would go like Clefable plus Cinderace, so it wasn't really worth that that dedicated read. Because I can eat one hit from Cinderace pretty easily. And they can't redirect Surf, so I should be fine to do that. Yeah, that's Cinderace Clefable. I'm going to go ahead and get my rocks. I'm Scarf, so I'm fine here. Let's go ahead and go for the Surf and the Max Vocalith on the Clefable. It's probably unaware, but this is still going to be really important. I suppose I'll just go for it on the Cinderace. Or actually, mm, I should get rid of Clefable. I'm not going to hit the Cinderace just yet. Let's see if there's Scarf Cinderace, as it wouldn't matter anyways now that they're Dynamaxing. But uh, the fact that they 
Dynamax tells me they're probably not Scarf, maybe Life Orb or something. But we should always outspeed that with the Scarf. Alright. What if they protect an Icy Wind? That'd be absurd. I don't know why I just thought of that. But that was like a weird thing in my head that concerned me. Yeah, follow me is pretty obvious here. Like, that's that's what I would do. Surf goes off. Nice little chip damage on Cinderace. Nice little chip damage on Clefable. Let's find out if they're unaware, which they probably should be if they're trying to prep for Colossal. I don't believe Cinderace has much for uh, Colossal except for a Max Knuckle, which I should be fine here. Okay, in two rounds of rocks, that thing should be gone. Critical hit, too. That's actually huge. Okay, not two rounds of rocks. I might just have to hit it again. Ooh, okay. All right, that's a lot of health. <gasps> what move is that? Sir? Sir? Hold on. Hold on. I have to check this. Do I live this? Okay, that's special Cinderace, because there's no way I would have lived that otherwise. Um, <laughs> bro, I'm scared. That's got to be a special move, right? Ground moves. It gets Mud Shot and Scorching Sands. That's got to be Scorching Sands. So what I can actually do here is switch out. And I think I'm going to go... <sighs> Let me think. I could go Verizia on here. And Max Guard. Verizion should be a pretty safe switch, and like there's no way they're targeting the Sneasel here. Alright. Yep, there's the follow me. There's the Max Quake. There we go. And now what I kind of want to do is Leaf Blade here, but I'm actually going to end my Dynamax early and get in my Weezing. Yeah, because what I can actually do is lock the Cinderace into being uh, a ground type for the next turn, because they have to attack the... They have to attack this Colossal, and they're going to be stuck as a ground type. I'm assuming they're just mixed, because there's no way you just run a special Cinderace. This thing's special attack is poop. It is poop. Yeah, 65 special attack. They they might have maxed it out. Like, what special moves does it get? It gets Blast Burn, which is, you know, a given. It actually gets some pretty cool moves. It gets Shadow Ball and Electro Ball. It gets, it gets all the ball moves. What if they're running Electro Ball? I don't think they're running a flying move, if that's the case. Yeah, the Sash Boy should be fine. Now, they're actually stuck as a ground type. And that was their last turn of Dynamax. I'm also Adamant Life Orb. Specifically to help me out with the Tyranitar matchup. And if it's special Cinderace, Verizion should be easily able to take a hit. And especially since I've locked him into ground type. Okay, that was really scary, I have to admit. Next game, I'm probably just going to lead off with this uh, 
<laughs> with this thing. Okay. Um. I mean, I could taunt to prevent a trick room if they decide to go that route. I think I just Leaf Blade the Cinderace. They might have, um, dang, they actually might have Shadow Sneak on this Gorgeist. Maybe I just Protect instead of Taunt. I think they would Shadow Sneak here. So I'm going to Leaf Blade and Protect. Because if they Shadow Sneak here, then like a, a Heat Wave or like a Flamethrower would KO my, or would come close to KOing. I can like minimize damage here. Bounce. Okay, so they do have it. They do have it. Okay. Um. Let me think. I'm going to lose my Verizion regardless. Alright, yeah. Uh, I think I know my play here. Dang, if I will wisp or if I taunted there, that would have been huge. I mean, I can protect this turn and just get rid of the Cinderace. I'll Strange Steam. Maybe they don't have Shadow Sneak. I guess we'll find out. They're probably banking on Assault Vest. Yep, nice. So I should get rid of the Cinderace here with this move. They are faster. But after Rocks plus Strange Steam, it should be enough. Or maybe just the Strange Steam itself is enough. And then I think my Scarf, Triple Axle, Weavile, or Sneasel should clean up. Alright. Everyone, you can have your abilities back, I suppose. Ooh, the Frisk. Now he knows I'm Life Orb. Wow. Oh, wait. Did that not kill? Oh, no. Did I, did I miscount my turns? That's actually really big. Okay, uh, I mean, I can just triple Axel Gorgeist here. I'm going to bounce that Cinderace. Because I think if I were them, I would protect Cinderace. Actually, I just close combat Cinderace every time. It'll go down. Even though I'm burned, like, I'm fine. One... Two, come on. Okay, three. Got rid of that. This is a very awkward game one. Crit didn't matter there. Definitely not. Let's go for the Iron Head. Yeah, close combat should do the trick there. It's going to be a very awkward end game here. Really comes down to what the last Pokemon is. I mean, if it is Tyranitar, I should just win since this thing is calced. So when it's Dynamax, my close combat knocks out Tyranitar anyways. So if it's not Dynamaxed, since they can't Dynamax it, I should be fine to win. Urshifu. Ooh. It's going to be close. It's going to be close. I have to... Uh... No, I think I win regardless. Unless they're like Scarf Urshifu, I should be fine. Ooh, actually, no. I might not be fine. I might not be fine specifically because I'm running Adamant. I mean, I do resist. No, I don't resist. I'm grass fighting. What am I talking about? Maybe if they sucker punch me for some reason. They have to be slower and not sash. Which I think they would run sash in this situation. Or maybe I, they're scarf and I crit heat wave off a of close combat. Well, it's going to have to be that that situation. Uh, we know they're faster. I wonder if Jolly Urshifu outspeeds Adamant, if that revealed Scarf at all. Crit. Oh! Okay, that sucks. <laughs> that, was, uh, that was really close. That was a really good game one. All right, let me see. Let me figure out if that actually outspeeds. I didn't check this in, in prep. 
So Urshifu at level 50, if it's Jolly, does that reveal Scarf? Probably not Scarf. 163. Where my Virizion is 160. Yeah, so it's not Scarf. It's not Scarf. Well, that's what you uh that's what you have to accept when you're running the uh <laughs> the adamant set. Alright, let's try this again. I think this time I definitely lead off wheezing and go for that taunt immediately. I'll go, uh, ooh, I could go wheezing dust clops and that'd be really safe. Yeah, I'll do wheezing dust clops, colossal. And I think I still have to bring the. I think I still have to bring Verizion, but I have to be a lot careful here. A lot more careful, I mean. Yeah. I think Verizion's still fine, given how many fighting weaknesses they have. Does Clefable get taunt? I have to check. It does not. It does not get taunt. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. Don't have to worry about that. Cinderace definitely isn't running taunt since it's running like Scorching Sands. Or, was that a physical move though? I have to double check. Yeah, all of his ground moves are special. So that's like Scorching Sands for maximum power. All right. Cinderace Clefable. I should be fine just to go for the Taunt Trick Room. And then on the next turn, I can even Will-O-Wisp the... Uh... Actually, no, I can't because it's going to be Fire-type still. Taunt Trick Room. Here's the Iron Head. He's going for the flinch. Sing. Okay. No thank you. Glad you're not going to be able to do that for the rest of the game. Glad I've taken away that, that option. And honestly, I don't mind going Colossal here. And, uh... Might as well bulldoze immediately. Found the life orb, citrus berry, obviously, we knew that from the previous game. So we draw the Clefable. Gorgeist, we're fine. Matter of fact, I might heat wave now. Let's see if he's scorching sanded. That does so much. Did I crit that thing? Why did Cinderace take so much? I'm just gonna heat wave. Yeah, I crit it. Iron Head, that's fine. Doesn't do too much. Alright. Go for the Heat Wave. No need to Dynamax just yet. Uh, and I will also be Nightshading this Gorgeist. Just to ensure in case it's like a Salt Vest. Since Cinderace should go down regardless.
I think I live that. Just because of how much HP I have in this thing. Oh, dang it. Okay, I'm dumb. I'm an idiot. I'm big stupid. I probably should have just gone into the, uh, into the wheezing to prevent that. There's the reverse trick room. Check this out. Check this out. I think I'm fine, actually. Funny enough. We're gonna Dynamax this Weezing. Uh, this Cinderace is locked into Dark Type, so I should be able to just... Boom. You know? Just right there. And uh, I'm gonna Trick Room again. Actually, do I want to Trick Room again? I don't think I do. I think I just Nightshade the Gorgeist. Now, unfortunately, I don't actually have a poison move on this thing. So that, uh, <laughs> that, um, Clefable could be a bit annoying. Does, like, nothing. Relatively speaking, you know. In prison, guessing he's trying to prevent Trick Room there. Glad I nightshaded. Get a bit of damage there. I also can't be put to sleep now. Fable. Now, obviously, my play here is going to be Max Starfall plus Nightshade into the Gorgeist, but I'm like 100% sure it's about to get redirected. Clefable opts to protect, so I actually get a lot out of this turn. Trick or treat. Turn to me ghost type. That's fine. Are you going to Dynamax that, uh, that Urshifu then? And I can actually Trick Room now, which is huge. They should be going for the G-Max 1 blow. Which, that actually hits through Protect, if you didn't know. Or Max Guard. So my play here is going to be to Trick Room now. And get in the... <laughs> get in the, um... Pharizion. And be very cautious about Sing going forward, because Misty Train only lasts so long. I am max defense though, and G-Max Wumblow isn't nearly as strong as close combat typically is. Or am I wrong? Is it the same power after you account for crits? No, no, it's slightly stronger. It is slightly stronger. But it's not as useful because it doesn't crit. That's what I'm thinking of. So follow me, I'm probably going to get Wicked Blood, which is fine. Ooh, into the Dusclops. I'm cool with that. Let me go ahead and focus down this Clefable for a minute. They did follow me that turn, though. Um, What if they Dynamax this Clefable? What if it's all support, though? Because they revealed Sing, Follow Me, Protect. 
This is really risky. I'm going to pain split the Clefable here. Alright, yeah, that's fine. I might be able to bring this back. It's a lot of health back on the Dusclops, and I think I can take one more just barely. Life Orb, Adamant, Leaf Blade is enough to KO. I think I win. Yeah, I think I win. Funny enough, even more so if the Dusclops goes down. Okay. Critical hit, that's fine. I'm going to go ahead and just close combat here. And go for the pain split. I think I just barely snuck in that win. They definitely waited a little bit too long to pull the Dynamax trigger. Miss Disappear, that doesn't matter. Should still be able to do this. Unless they have, like, Poison Jab, I think I'm fine, which I don't think they do. I think they're just standard Urshifu. Get a ton of health back here. Nice. Yeah, and they're always in range of Nightshade now, so regardless of what happens, I just always double into the Urshifu and win. Unless they're running, like, <laughs> Brutal Swing. Wow, I live that. Okay. Yeah, it's game. Close combat here. Nightshade. I almost pain split again, imagine. And Dusclops gets the win. Nice. That was a really, really intense game, too. This is a really good set. This is a really good set. Now, I think he's going to respect the Weezing lead a bit more. Now that I revealed it. All right. Let me think. I think I bring like the same group of mons, but I have to play a bit smarter. Still going to go Wheezing Dusclops. Or maybe. You know what? Let's do this. I don't know if he's going to lead off with the uh, Clefable anymore. Now that he knows I can do that. I think I'm going to revert back to game one, and I think that'll be fine. I think reverting back to game one strategy will be fine, honestly. Yeah, because I think what he's going to want to do is try to shut down the Weezing lead, because I think he knows that I need the Weezing to shut down the uh, Clefable. And I can play fine against the Clefable even if I don't have the Weezing, but I have to be careful is the issue. Because we saw how that worked out game one. Game one was extremely close. So, yeah. We've seen Trick or Treat, we've seen Imprison, Will-O-Wisp, and Trick Room, so we know that there's no Shadow Sneak on that on that Gore guy, so we can play a, a bit less carefully around it, but we also know the full moveset on the Cinderace, which is huge. Alright, Cinderace Clefable, that's fine. Like I said, I can still play around it. I can actually force him to waste a Dynamax turn.
by doing this. Because he should just make a similar play to game one. And what I want to do is have him waste his Dynamax before or before I actually click mine. At the very least, waste like one or two turns. So that should stop him from getting Ground Stab on this turn. And he should always just go for Follow Me into the... Um, Follow me into Max Quake. Considering how well that turned out game one. Yep, there it is. Follow me. Max Quake shouldn't really do anything to Verizion because of the high special defense. Max Steel Spike, okay. Ooh. All right, all right. This is actually a little bit troubling. A little bit troubling. Not the end of the world, to be honest, because I can still waste Dynamax turns. My play here is going to be a double protect. No. Hmm. Crap, if he airstreams here, I'm in trouble. You know, I have to do it anyways. I think he wants to get rid of Weezing. I'm going to taunt here. Because I need to get in the, the Weavile next turn. Yeah, there's the Airstream. That's going to be a bit problematic for me. Especially since he didn't follow me here. Oh, uh, that's going to be scary. And he connects the Sing. Dang it, okay. So, I mean, that sort of tells me that there's no offensive move on this, on this Clefable at that point. Like, that's just a dead giveaway. If you click Sing here, that's way too risky if it wasn't offensive, you know? Okay. I would assume they just Airstream again. I'm fine losing the Verizion here. This is going to be really, really close. Matter of fact, I think I do this. Let me think. Try to leave Blade you for damage. And I'm actually going to go hard into Sneasel here. Because they should always target down the... Um... Okay, okay, they switch out. That's huge. Urshifu, that's fine. That's fine. There's the Airstream. Another Flying type. Oh, this is really scary. I have to make a very, very scary play right now. I'm going to go into my Colossal here. And I'm actually just going to go for the raw Max uh, Rockfall into this. Or not Max Rockfall, Max Vocalith into the Cinderace. And I have to go for a very, very late game Sneasel, uh, Sneasel Surf. And what I'm going to do is lock them into that flying type. Lock them into the flying type, which should decrease the power of their ground move. And Urshfu shouldn't be able to KO me. I think I should just be able to barely hang on here. And Scarf Sneasel should still outspeed both of these things. Or should still outspeed the, the Urshfu coming in. Since it's only a plus one. And we're 90% sure it's not Scarf. So I have to go for this raw Max Vocalith. And I'm really hoping I can lose this Weezing here. Alright, 
right, they didn't switch out the Cinderace, which is great. I think the best outcome would be them going for the Iron Head into the into the um, Weezing slot, since Vocalith into the into the Rock should be enough. There it is. Okay, I'm fine. Maybe I should have flared calling that. Neutralizing gas wore off. That's probably not enough, yeah, since it's resisted. I should have flared. That was dumb. I got my weakness pulse, so maybe it is enough. Maybe it is enough. Okay, yeah, it was enough. This is going to be a very, very difficult comeback. And I honestly don't think I locked myself into Surf. I don't think I locked myself into Surf under any circumstances. I think I have to lock myself into Triple Axel. Yeah. Okay. So my play here is going to be... Max Flare is technically the right play. Hmm. Scary. I'm going to double the Urshifu. I'm pretty sure they just follow me anyways. If they don't follow me, that should be huge, though, because triple axle at minus one should always KO Urshifu. No, that's follow me. That's fine. Triple Axel. One. Two. Three. They're going to get their Citrus Berry. I think Vocalith plus the Rocks might be enough. This is going to be really bad. Maybe I should have surfed. You know, I think Surf would have been smarter because then I could overheat. Yeah. Dang. Okay. Um. Yeah, if they just follow me, they win. Or not overheat, but heat wave. I just barely hang on. Doesn't matter, though. <laughs> Because what I could have done there if I surfed is protect on the final turn, then lock myself into Heat Wave and hope that whatever's in the back can't take it. Yeah, that would have been huge if I actually did that. That would have been game. Eh, maybe. I don't know. No, no, I think that would have. Suppose I'll lock myself in here. Maybe the 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 invisible bright powder will activate. Nope. All right. Yeah. Good game. Dang. That was actually a really good set. I should have definitely surfed though. Anyways, that's gonna be it for week seven. I don't know. We're losing a lot in this league. I don't really mind though. It's mainly just because I want to play against some of my buddies in the community. So. I don't really mind too much. Never really taking draft too seriously. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed this, leave a like, subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.